Okay, so the general idea here is to demonstrate how to use uh, different types of data to feed a composition system. In this case, we're using uh, AIRE or AIR, which is an application created by Interspecifics um, two years ago. And we, we keep uh, working with this because uh, we like the idea of uh, working with the materiality of the pollutants in the air in Mexico City. So you can see we're getting uh, different uh, signals, and these signals are from the center of um, air quality. And what we do is to take the signals and turn them into open zone control data. So in this case, uh, we want to show you like what happens if you use the data in an open source uh, environment like PD. And we can listen to this here. So in this case, the PD patch is uh, focused more in, in creating some sort of ambient drone elements. And here we have four oscillators uh, connected to several effect processes. And all these processes are being controlled by the feed of data over here. And the sound uh, creates uh, this like uh, oscillatory, also a stochastic kind of uh, uh, texture. Then we are also uh, having a setup with physical instruments. So we have the BCB rack from in one side, and the other we have uh, textures with the PD patch. And then we have the melodical part in the mock uh, semi-modular. Uh, so to control that, we are um, also feeding all our data from here to Ableton. And in Ableton, we're using the data um, to control uh, several LFOs sent by the CV tools directly to the module. So you can see here, um, I'm using the CO uh, pollutant to control the rate of this specific LFO. And I'm also controlling the depth. Uh, so I'm sending a combined signal in output uh, five to make a reiterative uh, presence of the signal. Then I have uh, other different ones here, output six, output seven, output four. All of them are being controlled by the flow of data. If I turn off the data, you will see that they're gonna become more stable and fixed over time. So now we're gonna listen to, to the modular. Here is the mock oscillator the Mother 32 and in the Mother 32 um, I'm using um, CV mix to control two types of um, waveforms so from VCO to noise and when I activate the data again we're going to start listening to this blending of signals to the mix too. Then we can add the diffam. Which is also being controlled into the VCO2 CV by the signal coming from the CV2 synaptor. And finally the subharmonicon. which is receiving a rhythm control. So the rhythm is gonna be mutating uh, over the signal flow. 
Uh, of course, we want to have, uh, you know, you, you can have this like an auto-generative system playing by itself if you just feed the data. But as a musician, I also want to play with this. So I also leave some open spaces so I can be part of the, you know, the process of composition, adding some elements and having some space to improvise. So what we have here is a very simple patch uh, in VCB rack. We wanted to keep it very simple so we can actually see some changes within the length of the video. And the line of the incoming data, um, it's uh, from the main software, incoming software, uh, into Ableton via OSC, and then from Ableton to VCB rack via MIDI. We wanted to keep it really constrained. In this kind of uh, composition, using data, you want to keep um, a very subtractive kind of, of strategy because it's like a lot of things going on. So the data is uh, coming via MIDI and the main, so the main synthesis is coming from this model Trumor by Volt. So it's another, we wanted to, to make um, a different or a many layer um, synthesis drum pattern. And the, um, the trumor, it's getting two different um, deterministic um, influences. One is coming from topograph, which is um, a grid XY um, morphing sequencer. And it has a, another one, which is coming from the Turing machine by Stellar Modular um, that is controlling the actually the grid, not the XY grid in, in the top in the topograph. So what we wanted to do is um, instead of feeding directly the trumor or any kind of synthesis uh, with the data, we we wanted to keep it more constrained through um, through these two other sequences. So if I if I open just uh, the regular one of the voices, I can see a very um, a stable signal. And once I open the, the incoming data from Ableton, I start seeing different changes. That gives you a kind of meandering um, stochastic feeling that can lead you to somewhere else that you weren't thinking in the beginning. The same with um, a more stable kick. You can actually make some changes on the fly as well within the whole range of parameters that the, mo the models gives you. But you can start adding some voices and see how the, how the, flow, how the flow goes. So if you want to make a, another level of constraint you you can actually see how the the MIDI it's been controlled here in a very simple LFO that keeps the whole system within ranges aesthetically um, moderated to see. back to the normal mode once you take all the all the data out. 